want to show you a tip that involves working with InDesign books. And this is something you guys can do in previous versions of InDesign, not just CS5. But I don't know how many of you guys have actually used books, but you can use them for different things. We can use them to, uh, to paginate an entire series of documents. We can use them to not paginate a series of documents and then just go in and you know, change some things about them. And that's what I want to show you guys how to do. By default, when we go to create a new book, and I'm going to do it right here from the welcome screen. I'll click create new book. It's going to ask me and say, okay, well, where do you want to put it? I've got a lot of junk on my desktop here, but I'll save it out there. I'll call it book one. Who cares? I'll save it. And it creates a book panel. Okay, let me close the welcome screen, and there it is. If we add documents to the book, it's going to paginate them. So it's going to paginate them in order, in succession, whatever, however we add them, and starting from the top, working their way down. Now, I don't want to do that, let's say. Let's say I want to use my book to take a bunch of disparate files and put them in here, in design files, and be able to use it for synchronization, be able to synchronize styles across and things like that. But I don't want it to touch the pagination. So what we need to do is when we create the book, we're going to set up something first, and then we're going to add the documents. So if I come to the book panel menu out here, you'll see book page numbering options. Click on that. You'll see it says, okay, well, we're going to automatically update the page and sec section numbers in the documents. I'm going to turn that off. If I turn that off, leave this on, it doesn't really matter. Click OK. When we add documents to this book, it will no longer paginate them. It will no longer mess with the page numbers. So let me do that. So I'll come down here to the little plus, add documents. There's 50 ways we can do this. And I've got a, just three simple little files right here. So I'll select these InDesign files. These are actually part of a book I'm working on. I'll click Open. It'll put them all in there. And if you take a look, unlike before, when I didn't have that set, you're going to see they retain their page numbering. So it's 1 to 6, 1 to 32, 1 to 5. If I had not selected that option, they would have come in at 1 to 6, 7 to you know, 39, whatever. I can't do math. I'm not that sharp. Um, and so on and so forth. And if we had reordered them by clicking and dragging up and down, these would change. So they would update automatically. Now, why would I even do this then? Why even put these in a book? Well, like I said, it's for a lot of reasons, you guys. It's for synchronization is one reason why I use them. So if you had a lot of different, let's say you're creating a bunch of newsletters or, you know, whatever, and you want them all to have the same styling, you can turn off the page numbering like I did, insert them in the book, pick the style source. So you say, okay, well, this document, Intro CS5, is going to be where all the styles come from. Come out to the, the outside here, and what I need to do first is either deselect them all or select them all, either way. Come out to the menu out here, and you're going to see it says Synchronize Options. Click on that. And then what I can do is go in and say, okay, well, let's synchronize all these different things. I love the fact that since, I think since CS4, I can't remember, but um, you can synchronize master pages. That's awesome. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this off, let's say. I'm going to synchronize the masters. I'll synchronize all the styles, and we're good to go. If I click synchronize, that's why I selected them all or deselected them all. You can do it either way. Click synchronize, it'll do it. So with any fonts missing, it'll tell you this document needs to be updated, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's fine. We obviously need to go out and double check these, open them up, make sure we don't have overset text and things like that. And there we go. So this is one method for using a book, not necessarily creating a book out of them or a magazine or something that's, you know, has documents in order or in succession page order wise, but just to use it to synchronize. It's actually pretty cool.